What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So um, I recently purchased this Yale a lot electronic safe and as you can see it says here small so I'm assuming that they also do a medium and large and potentially an extra large version of these safes. Um, the reason I decided to get one of these is um, it was fairly cheap it was roughly um, if I remember correctly it was roughly £33 um, and I thought to myself, you know what, it might be worth getting one of these just to store my documents in and stuff like that. You know, uh, it's always good to have something like this lying around. Obviously, if you go online and if you find them for like 80 to 90 pounds, uh, I personally wouldn't pay that much. Uh, but for the cheap price of 33 pounds I paid for this, uh, to me, it did seem like, you know, it is worth getting at that price point. So I thought, you know what, I'll buy this potentially maybe store passports or uh, similar documents that you know that I don't use on a daily basis but need to keep somewhere safe in here um, but yeah without further ado I'll open up the box and I'll show you guys what it looks like so guys sorry about that guys I had to pause the video while I opened up the box so what you do get in here is you get this safe now it was literally just kept inside the box like this there was no like pull of polystyrene uh, you know like protection or anything for the safe uh, now usually that that would get me worried if I bought something and it wasn't protected properly but in this case um, it, you know I if I, if it did have any kind of like you know polystyrene around it to try and protect it I'd be a bit worried because I think to myself you know what there's meant to be a safe it's meant to be strong why on earth do you have to put extra protection around it so the fact that they didn't you know is a bonus for me uh, it just gives me a bit a bit more of that reassurance that you know this is a strong product also with the safe um, you get uh, this uh, handy user manual uh, with it as well and you get two override keys um, now I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the reason why they decided to give you two override keys is because obviously with these safes they are battery operated and um, at the moment it's locked which is why I, could, oh, I can't open it but basically I know that from previous experience of using similar safes to this um, in the back there's usually a space to fit four either two or four double a batteries and then um obviously the batteries would last a long time if you're not using on a daily basis but then if they did accidentally die out or something like that then you've got the keys ready to manually open up the safe i believe what happens is is this this panel here um because i have actually owned a yale, a yale safe in the past and what happens is this panel here you can basically pull it off and there'll be a slot there for you to put the key in and to unlock it um, I won't be removing this now because obviously I don't need to so I, so I think I'll just leave it as is um, and then uh, I'm just going to read the instructions and see how to how I open this because obviously I need to find the code uh, first so guys I just read the, read, read the instructions and it says what you actually need to use the keys for the initial setup um, and so what I've done is I've taken off the cover now and I'll just show you a picture of the key here so as you can see it this key is not something that you can just get easily made in in like you know in your local locksmiths it's something that you you'll probably have to order from Yale directly um so i assume that what it is is either somewhere inside the safe or actually yeah on the keys themselves they actually have a code uh that is written on there obviously i'm not going to show you guys the code but there is a code written on the keys which um which which, uh, which is what you need uh, to order additional keys if you need them uh in case you lose these but obviously i can't stress this enough guys i mean if you are going to use a safe make sure you put the keys in a safe location preferably not in not inside the safe I have heard stories of people storing the keys inside the safe and I think to myself that's a bit stupid because like I said what, what happens if the battery dies and you can't open it if you don't have any keys it's going to be a very expensive bill to a locksmith to get them to open this up for you so anyway guys uh, the way you open this is you literally put the key in here as as so sorry because I'm because I'm only able to use one hand at the moment it's proving quite difficult so what it is literally put it in and then you just twist it i believe in this one yeah it's that way and then the safe opens up and there you go inside as you can see you get you get the four double a batteries that you're gonna insert into the panel here to basically obviously activate the 
the electronic coded me mechanism and as well they are giving you because obviously since this is a safe you if you want to you could probably mount this in to a cupboard or into a wall to make it uh, to make it very difficult for anyone to be able to move this uh, so you know burglars won't be able to steal it very easily um, they give you two you know industrial strength screws um, and these are, I mean I can tell you now by just holding obviously the camera doesn't do it any justice but these are really good quality and you know if you were to put these into a wall it's going to be very difficult for someone to be able to break this out so knowing that this that the safe comes with these is great as well um, you know personally I wasn't expecting these to be included because usually you know I'd expect them to expect you to go out and buy these uh, separately but obviously given that this is a Yale product um, They've obviously thought about giving the customer everything that they need uh, to go get, to be going up and running. Obviously, um, if your walls are made out of plasterboard, then to be honest with you, you're probably wasting your time, um, you know, trying to uh, screw this safe into the wall. But if you have a wall made out of concrete, then obviously, you know, it may be worth, you know, drilling the holes and, you know, having this securely, securely attached to the wall itself. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, so this is my initial uh, unboxing of this uh, Yale safe. Um, overall, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. I think this is a great product, definitely worth having and everyone should invest in one of these Um and so anyway, guys, uh, if you did like this video, please do like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get some more videos up for you shortly.